In today's video, let's see the recent maritime accidents. BBC Georgia, a German general cargo ship, grounded in Canada's water, on November 24, water intrusion and flooding in the engine room caused the general cargo ship BBC Georgia to go aground in the St. Lawrence River. She's being pulled in several directions, but she's finally refloating. Thirteen crew members were missing after the Lebanese cargo raptor sank in the Aegean Sea. On November 26, the cargo ship raptor sank off the southwest coast of the Greek island of Lesbos. The ship was traveling from Egypt to Istanbul with salt shift cargo. The crew was rescued and taken to safety, consisting of two Syrians, eleven Egyptians, and one Indian. Storm Beach's bulk carrier Blue Shark in Russia's Black Sea, on November 26, the bulk carrier Blue Shark washed ashore in Vidyazevo, Anapa, in the Black Sea of Russia. No official comments or indications of salvage were present. Storm grounds two Turkish freighters, Vamos FR Pearl in the Black Sea, on November 26 to 27, a strong storm in the Black Sea grounded two Turkish freighters, Vamos and FR Pearl. Whereas FR Pearl was beached at Hopa, Turkey, with 13 crew members successfully evacuated, Vamos broke from moorings at Anebalu port, Turkey, and drifted ashore in Philaikosk. As of yet, no salvage has been identified, bulk ship Barbro G grounded in downtown Detroit. After November 27, the bulk freighter Barbro G ran aground in the Detroit River. On November 26, it drifted aground after being anchored. There have been no reports of leaks or damages, and the tugging is operating as it travels from Salt St. Marie to Gibraltar. In the outer anchorage of the Kerch Strait, three Russian vessels, the Metros Shevchenko, Metros Poznik, and Kafkaz V, collided, three bulk carriers were involved in a triple accident on November 27, near the Black Sea's Kerch Strait outer anchorage. There were two flagged by Russia and one with Russian involvement. The heaving bulk ship Kafkaz V sustained minor damage when the Ukrainian grain bulk carrier Matras Shevchenko and the moored bulk carrier Matras Pozenik drifted onto it. Both ships are still anchored, the AIS of Matras Shevchenko has not been active since November 18, and there are gaps in Kafkaz V's track data. Product tanker Kadri ANA broke apart and floated to land in Istanbul. Tanker of products the ship Kadri ANA floated ashore in Istanbul's Marmara Sea, ruptured its hull, overflowed its engine room, and made an evacuation request. Packed with 500 tons of fuel oil, it might be half submerged above the sea. Nomfat 01, a general cargo ship, grounded to prevent sinking in Vietnam, off the central coast of Vietnam, the 1,500-ton steel cargo ship Nomfat 01 ran into difficulty, flooding the engine room. Eleven crew members who were stranded in the Tangben area waterways were transported to safety. Ghost ship sinking inquiries from the Korea Coast Guard, no crew was discovered when the unnamed Chinese cargo ship sank off Gaggio Island in the Yellow Sea in southwest South Korea. Whether it was an illegal entry attempt or a maritime accident is being looked into by Korean authorities. It is estimated that the ship weighs about 200 tons, LPG tanker Coral Perensis, troubled in the English Channel, is hauled to safety, en route from Rafns, Norway, to Gibraltar, the LPG tanker Coral Perensis encountered an engine failure in the English Channel, 55 nautical miles southeast of Falmouth, UK. The Australian LNG tanker Seasai Qingdao was transferred from the closed LNG terminal, due to a malfunctioning generator, the LNG tanker Seaside Qingdao has been stranded at the Curtis Island port in Australia since November 21. On December 1, it was eventually released and towed to the outer anchorage. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment area.